Uh, what's the weirdest or novelty pen that you own? <laughs> So I thought this was a fun question, um, and I actually could not decide on just one, so I wanted to showcase some of the interesting pens that I have um, and see what you guys think. So some, some of these are just not that crazy, but they're just kind of unique and different, so I, I like them. Um, I'll start off with a couple that I made back in the day because I was experimental and did not have some of the greatest ideas, but sometimes you have to just kind of get them out and before they happen. So the first day, that I ever made a pen. I made a wood pen. This is a ballpoint, yes, but I was not into fountain pens at that time, so you can forgive me. Um, I call this my bowling pen, because <laughs> it looks like a bowling pen. Um, I was like, oh, well, it's a really thin pen. I was like, what if I made it really comfortable for a grip? And it looks huge, and Rachel was like, what is that? And it's kind of a joke pen now, but certainly uh, precious to me for its memories only, not for the actual aesthetics, but it's actually not too terribly uncomfortable. That's why I designed it this way, but it certainly looks odd and you can't really like put it in your pocket or anything because it bolts out. Anyway, kind of fun. Um, and then another pen that I'd made that's also kind of weird. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit as I'm answering these ones. I'll show you the pens a little bit more. This one is my kind of magic wand pen. It looks pretty ugly and uh, clearly I did not have the greatest aesthetic in mind when I was doing this. Um, oh, I don't even have a nib on it, that's pretty funny. The nib and the grip is missing on it, but anyway, you could imagine what it looked like if it had a fountain pen nib on it. Um, but this one, I made it to be long, kind of like a wand, sort of, and I laminated it. So this is uh, this is canary wood here, so it's a nice yellow wood. And then I have purple heart and then paduke. So this is a purple wood and an orange wood. So I wanted to have various colors of wood in here, and literally I just cut at kind of an angle, and then I glued in different strips of other colored woods and did it at a couple different angles. So I actually think that's kind of neat. The pattern is not particularly anything specific. Um, and the pen is very long and awkward and, you know, Rachel kind of makes fun of me as well. I don't know why I keep mixing like purple and yellow, like they're contrasting colors. They're not complementary or anything. And anyway, so, um, and if you thread it right, it lines up so that it's kind of interesting like that. But anyway, that's what's going on with this pen. So it's like a little conductor wand kind of thing, a little odd. Those are my pens. Um, to get into some other like commercially made ones that are kind of interesting, I'll start out with these ones because I, I don't think they're weird necessarily. They just maybe have some, people have some opinions about the aesthetics. Um, I've posted this on Instagram, my personal Instagram recently. This is the Mont Blanc Leo Tolstoy. And uh, a lot of people think that it just looks like a Franken pen or like it was kind of hodgepodge together. I, I don't, I'm not so offended by it. I think it's kind of nice. It does look a little odd with the blue and all that. I mean, it's intentional in its design because Mont Blanc definitely knows how to design some stuff, but a lot of people comment that this pen definitely looks like it's three different pens kind of put together. So kind of interesting, bit of a novelty for me. Um, and along those lines, I find this pen to be very appealing. Um, it is definitely a little odd though. This is the Delta Magnifica Amalfi. And uh, it definitely has some interesting things going on with the white and the different blues and gold and the turquoise and all that. It's, it's a really nice pen and um, it's a limited edition that, they, uh, that they've done. Um, but pretty much everybody caught in an olive wood too. So it's got a lot of intentionality behind it, you know, kind of like the Mont Blanc, but I, I compare these two. I actually have taken some pictures of the two of these. I'm gonna put on my personal Instagram shortly to see like, would you rather, you know, which pen would you rather have? Um, but uh, that's another interesting one. Um, this is another kind of novelty one that I have. I never write with this pen, but it's kind of interesting. It's called the Stipula Da Vinci. So it's got some interesting things going on with it. It's a retractable nib, so you actually twist it and this uh, little hood kind of opens up and then the nib comes out like so. It takes like eight turns to make it happen and it's a very large kind of awkward pen. Um, but it's it's a nice pen, like it's manufactured well and the design is really interesting. The engineering is neat, how it just kind of like retracts in there and then it has the little hood that just kind of closes like that. So it's, it's interesting in that respect, um, not uber practical, definitely more of a novelty. And then this part too, the clip actually, you know, you just turn the ring and the clip can go out or in depending on how thick your clothing is. Another cool engineering piece that, um, you know, it's not particularly, um, you know, make or break. 
Um, another one, this is uh, this is kind of a cool one that I really like, but I just, I always think of Dr. Mario, like the pill Dr. Mario, you know, the Tetris game from the 90s. Um, the Stipula Passaporto. Now, they had this pen a number of years ago, and from what I understand, they're bringing it back. This is one that we are definitely um, considering carrying, so uh, get pumped about that. Um, but uh, and it's gonna be lower priced than it was last time it was out too. Very small kind of pocket pen, but it's really just because it looks like Dr. Mario that I kind of find of a novelty. There you go. I find it kind of a novelty. Switch on my letters there. Uh, another interesting one. This is the Pilot Vortex, which uh, is never was not available in the U.S. from my understanding. I had a customer send it to me, um, but now I understand it's discontinued anyway, so you can't get it if you even if you want it. Inexpensive pen, but it's uh, just has kind of an interesting. It's got like a kind of a semi hooded nib thing going on there. Really long, you know, kind of like bumpy thing. It just looks very kind of futuristic, very Jetsons-like, and very long grip and kind of interesting. So it's to me, it's kind of just like, oh, that's an interesting pilot. I actually probably would think that's pretty cool if they offered it here, but they discontinued it, so it probably wasn't that popular. This one is called the Stipula Speed, which they have discontinued in a fountain pen version. I think they still have a ballpoint version if you're so inclined. But just kind of, you know, it's one that we had considered carrying and decided not to just because it was a little little too unconventional for our taste, um, but uh, there you go, Stipula Speed. Um, of course, I have the Pelican Twist. This is a kind of triangular twisting pen. This is a kid pen, really, that's how it's marketed, and the grip is actually really nice. It's actually a really good writing pen, um, but it's just very unconventional, no clip or anything like that. Pelican Twist. <clears throat> Um, this one I actually find very oddly appealing. This is a, a Lamy pen from the 90s, the Lamy Lady, uh, affectionately known uh, in the Goulet, uh, you know, turf here as the Golden Cow. So it definitely has kind of like a cow print going on. Um, it's actually got a really interesting, unique uh, 14 karat nib on here. It writes really great, uh, but it's a definitely an unconventional pen and it has roll stops instead of a clip. So um, interesting stuff. You know, Lamy, maybe you want to bring it back. I don't know. Uh, and then I've got two, two more to kind of close it out here. This is, uh, it's a beautiful pen. It's called the Selfie Pen. It's not a fountain pen, um, but it's just very interesting. Um, and how do I even operate this thing? I don't remember. Okay, so you twist the top, and the, the pen tip comes out. Excuse me. Um, you untwist it, and it has a um, electrostatic, um, what's it called? Stylus tip that you can use on an iPad or phone or whatever. Um, and then it has a built-in camera with, no, sorry, not a camera. It has a built-in uh, Bluetooth uh, receiver. You connect it to your phone through Bluetooth, and then this acts as a remote shutter for your phone. So you can take your phone, you can set it up, and you can you know, have, have a bunch of people, you can make sure it's framed well, and then you can go click and you can take your picture. Very much a novelty, um, and it actually works, but uh, you know, it's not a fountain pen, so never even considered it. And then the last one I have, this is not a fountain pen either, um, but it's very interesting. It's, it's made by a company called Napkin, and it's called the Forever. So it is um, very interesting. It's very long, slender. It doesn't have a lead or an ink or anything like that. Something about whatever the heck this tip material is made of. If you write on any type of paper, here, I'll just write on my dot pad here. If you write on paper, it's uh, just the friction of the way that it writes, it looks like pencil lead. It looks exactly like graphite, but it's not graphite. It never wears down. It's just something about the reaction of whatever this material is, and the paper causes that friction and makes it right to look exactly like graphite. You know, this is something we had considered carrying, but it was a little outside of our swim lane. So if you're super interested in this, let me know. Very much a novelty, but uh, you know, kind of kind of interesting. So cool technology anyway. And those, uh, this is, this is uh, carried by the same folks that do Monteverde um, Stipula. It's, it's by Yaffa. So um, that's, they had shown this to us and we're like, oh, this is a little outside of our thing, but it's kind of neat, so maybe I'll just keep one. I've never really shown it to you guys, so I thought I would show it to you now. So kind of, it's very thin though, that's the thing. You know, if they made it in a thicker thing, it would almost be good. But if you're a pencil lover, you, you know, this may be kind of interesting to you. Yeah, you can like do some shading stuff. I don't know. It's just kind of neat technology. And that's pretty much all I got for the weird and novelty stuff. So I think that's a pretty good amount for today. 